how to integrate monday.com with microsoft teams hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to integrate your microsoft teams into the monday.com product that you have so it is going to be something very easy and very simple you're going to head over monday.com sign in for an account and then you're going to see as you can see the dashboard now, once you're on the dashboard of your Monday account, we're going to uh, have here at least one workspace uh, added and also maybe one project. So as you can see here, we have a project. This is our project right there. So for that project, we need at least uh, to have the main table a little bit filled up so we can go ahead and differentiate the uh here uh, differences between uh, the uh, new notification or the old ones and as you can see uh for each one of the projects you need to create a dashboard and also a board so for example i have here multiple boards and these boards are going to help me organize the tasks for example for my team or my personnel in here and also for the dashboard it is going to have a recap for all of the uh, let's say here uh, movement that has been added to the project or the board itself so whenever i have uh, someone that has uh, put uh, maybe um, let's say here uh, a piece of advice or let's say a comment into a specific task or they have uh, worked with the task itself in here they are going to um, set up everything so they are going to get notified and etc now Let's say that we have set up everything. So we have the board, the dashboard, and also the project. Now we are going to head over here at the top uh, right corner, which has the five account of the account. And we're going to choose from here, the app marketplace. So from here, we're going to have the Microsoft or type in Microsoft Teams. So we're going to have it like that and we're going to search for it. It is going to be right in Teams. So we have an app um, already set up, which is going to be by Monday. So we are going to have it like that. Basically, this uh, specific app is going to be uh, running up some automations uh, that you're going to have in here. So Monday.com is going to run up through some notifications and these notifications are going to notify the team into the channel of the microsoft teams of course that you have set up something so let's say that they have disconnected from monday.com from their apps where they are too busy to check up their desktops but they have the microsoft team integrated they are going to have the notification on the microsoft team so it is going to be crucial for here to organize the work well so now what are we going to do is to click on use app. So as you can see, we are going to choose one of the workspaces that we have. Here we have the main or the new one. For example, I'm going to use the main. And now this is why I told you that we need some boards. So you are going to choose a board. Now I'm going to choose a board. You can go ahead and create a new board in case that you haven't created one yet. So I'm going to have maybe this board and click on add app. So depending on the board that you have chosen, remember it, please. So as you can see, we have the template, board automations, connections, and usage. So here we are on the automation center, as you can see. So. You're going to set up a condition for the specific, uh, let's say here, monday.com or whatever automation that you have in here. And then you're going to set it up from these integration or all of these integrations. We're not going to use them all. Obviously, each one of the videos is going to talk about a different automation. So in our case or in today's video, we are going to use the automation from Microsoft Teams. So you're going to have here um, not a very large, let's say, automations, but a limited automations. Like here we have, I think, six automations. The first one is going to be when an item is created, notify team in channel. So that means that whenever you are going to add an item, create it or add it, 
it is going to send a notification to the team. The second one is going to be when dates arrives, notify team in channel. That means that whenever you are going to have a task that should be done into a due date or into a specific timeline, it is going to have this specific notification held to the team. Now, the third one is going to be when any update is posted, send it to team. That means that you're going to put some updates like the tasks or for example, on the project, you're going to have some specific tasks. And these tasks are going to be represented also by columns. So any update on any column is normally going to be set up as a notification to the team. I think that this is going to be only uh, concerning the specific task because if you're going to use or change the date, for example, I don't think that it is going to create an alert for that. Now, let's move on for the fourth automation. When an update is posted in this item, send it to team in channel. So you're going to have a specific item and then you're going to have a comment added an update such as here a text, changed something or added a file. So you're going to have here monday.com to create a specific automation, which is going to be the trigger for the Microsoft team to change uh, the uh, specific alert to tell the group or the members. Now for the fifth one, when a status changed or changes to something notify team in channel. That means that, for example, you have a status and the status is going to be the, uh, let's say here, the uh, nature of the uh, task. For example, where it is going to be or development, not the nature, but the development of the task. If it is not done yet, if it is done, if it is on the way or it is going to be in progression, so depending on the specific status that you're going to have, because of course it is going to be a specific column and everything is connected to each other, it is going to uh, send a notification to the team in the channel if you're going to have it like that. So the last one is going to be when a column changes, notify team in channel. So when a column changes, for example, you're going to delete a channel not a channel but basically a column and or maybe you're going to uh, change a specification for the column that is going to modify it now what i am going to do is to try out a specific automation in here so let's say that we are going to have the status click on use template and then you're going to connect your microsoft teams it's not going to take a lot of time in here so we are going to have Microsoft connected right away. Unfortunately, I couldn't connect my account in here because it is going to demand a professional account, a school or a work account. So I'm going to ignore that specific step. And uh, obviously, I do not own a school or a, a work account into the Microsoft. So I think that you've got the idea in here. So basically, you're going to allow the app of the Microsoft team to be added into your specific, let's say here, uh, daily basis of, um, let's say here, uh, monday.com. So let's try and see if we have some view added in the specific um, apps in here. So let's see here, um, Microsoft uh, Teams. So we are going to have Teams. So we are going to see if we do have it as a view. So we do not have it as a view, but you do have it as an automation. So we are going to have here the automation and then you're going to have it just like that. So you're going to head over the template and set up the automation itself by the specific integration of, uh, as you can see from there, the Microsoft Teams. So. Aside from that, this is going to be very useful for you and also for your team in case that you have or they have been missing some updates lately or they haven't got the notification into their phones and maybe they didn't have the access to the app. I don't know here. It is going to be for multiple reasons. So you cannot 
go ahead and uh, blame them right away so basically that was pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one